Hi, it's wonderful to connect with you guys again and I hope that you're doing well. So today I'd like to welcome you to my mum and dad's garden. It's a little bit grey um, and it is raining, um, so maybe not quite, um, you won't be quite seeing it at its best, um, but I love their garden. It's such an amazing space with lots of nooks and crannies. It's a great place for hide and seek. It's a sort of garden where you never quite know what you might find. So, a squirrel nutcracker, several meerkats, a fairy house, and my dad's convinced he's growing lavender. But as far as I can tell, it's a row of weeds. What do you think? And then just as we're approaching midsummer, when uh, it's meant to be hot, <laughs> what do I notice that they've got growing? A Christmas tree. And it's growing really, really well. They bought it uh, when they first got the house and they planted it out in the garden. And we might not be thinking of Christmas at this time of year, but that's why I kind of want to start with this reflection. I remember asking my nieces, um, what did we celebrate at Christmas? And they said presents. And then they said Santa. And then finally, Jesus got a look in. I love it. It's that time of year when we celebrate um, the word becoming flesh and blood and moving into the neighbourhood. As the message so beautifully puts it, that opening chapter from John. And what's really amazed me is that during this time, we've seen the church take on flesh and blood and move into its neighbourhood. And it's been wonderful to see. I've been hearing stories of the church having gin and tonics on the driveway with its neighbours. I'm hearing stories of the church doing the shopping for its neighbours. And the church making food parcels up for families that maybe once had just been a statistic. It's wonderful to see that the church has left the building and moved into its neighbourhood. I'm recording this when we're still reeling from the injustices that the death of George Floyd has brought to the fore. God moved into the neighbourhood, but he also entered into our suffering and pain. It's not enough for the church to just move into the neighbourhood. It too needs to enter into the suffering and pain of its neighbours. Now is the time for us to listen. To listen to the stories that make us feel uncomfortable, that help us to understand that little bit more, maybe something that some of us will never fully comprehend. And now is the time for the church to speak, but to speak in a way that creates space for the voices of those that maybe haven't been heard enough gives them space to be heard. And now is the time for the church to act, to act justly as it walks humbly through its streets and parks and town centers, as it walks humbly through its neighborhood, the neighborhood that has been called to love and to serve. May God bless you as you have moved out of your buildings and you have moved into your neighbourhood. And may God give you the courage to enter into the pain and suffering of your neighbours.